So welcome to week seven of this vlog series that I'm doing. It's mating season here in Australia. I was just doing a hill repeat on my heavy training bike and I just got absolutely nailed by a swooping magpie about four or five times. I wasn't even hitting the helmet, it was getting the side of my head, it really hurt. But the beauty of that is I found this view and probably an even better hill without any of those bloody magpies swooping on me. So let's get into it. So I think I'm buying a race bike today. We're at a little town called Redcliffe, which is just out of Brisbane, about an hour from my place. And I've brought my bike with me, my existing bike, the LA, because I think when you're buying a new bike, if you've got an existing one you can take, it's good to look at them side by side just to ensure there's no anomalies and also you can measure your seat height and I think it's just going to give you a little bit more confidence if I'm going to walk out the door with this new race bike. So I'm very excited, let's go in. So, now I have two bikes behind me. Because there's a window here and it's good lighting and there's nowhere else in the house that's like this. Can you just give me five minutes? No, yeah. But there's a nice big door in here. <laughs> so as you can see, both the girls are back from Melbourne. <laughs> and it was just the dog and I for almost a week. Things got a little bit crazy, didn't they, Rossi? Where's Rossi gone? <laughs> oh, good boy, here he is. So things got a little bit weird, didn't they, while the girls were away? I did a 24-hour drive fast. Oh, look out, watch out, Rossi! I know it was a bit of an extreme and slightly different thing to do, but uh, I lost about a kilo and a half in that process, which I need to do for, well, I thought I needed to do for this road race coming up, which I'll explain shortly. And also, my training week this week, so it was a rest week last week, this week, my training has been really, really good, really strong. Now, I am sort of... Are you talking to me now, are you? What are you saying? I oh, know, it was a bit more relaxing when it was just you and I, wasn't it? Yeah, don't do that. Don't do yeah. So I actually slept really well for about 48 hours after that process as well. You thought it was a little bit strange, didn't you? The dry fast? Hard dry fast? Yes, I did. Yeah, she thought it was a bit strange. But anyway, gave it a go. Probably won't do that again, but I, I might go the water fast. 24 hours, soft dry fast means I can still shower, brush my teeth, all that kind of stuff. I bought a bike. Um, what? Giant. <laughs> a giant? Giant. Yeah. We have a giant in our house, I emanating know. giant vibes. In I our know, house but I had well. a strict budget. Um, I can't wait to show you. I purchased this bike for under $1,500 USD. So that's going to be a video next week. I'll show you at the end of this video, but I'm going to do a full piece on it next week. But then what happened after I sort of locked that bike in? Alice, can you explain to people um, what's happened? What, what, what happened? You got locked out by what? No, so I, I secured a bike, but then, right. like literally two or three days later, we went to see a house, didn't we? <laughs> I took, I saw wait a house. A second, wait a second. Piece of paper. Yeah. I saw a house off the market on a Friday, last Friday. I took Cam to see it on the Saturday. We bought it on the Saturday. We've signed contracts. We're just waiting on finance. We're doing things backwards, which is my way. Cam would. Cameron <laughs> would never choose to do that, would well, he? Well, very responsible. It was very unexpected. No. I'm not very responsible. We don't have finance. These two are the finance. most. These are the most responsible members of this. How family. did I look when we were signing contracts with the real estate agent? He oh. actually, I actually said to him, "Are you okay?" He looked like he was going to vomit. He was like grey and yellow. Because what did I say about two or three weeks before you did this? So I'm really looking forward to the next a bit of routine, a bit of you know, we can just settle into this place like and you go buy a house <laughs> <laughs> unexpectedly. We've got a house we can't afford. Yeah, yeah. This is why we're getting a giant. Well, We've got a giant, giant bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bike. Hello. Giant. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Take over, Daddy. So I've just popped downstairs to get away from the noise upstairs. And the beauty of that as well, as you can see behind me, I've got the Chapter 2 Rare Ray and also the new Giant TCR that I've purchased for a cracking price. I can't wait to share all the details with you next week. And the beauty of this is, one, it fell into my budget somehow. I was looking for a while and I did a fair bit of research and I'll explain the story to you next week. But a lot of people on the channel have been giving me some constructive feedback about all these top end road bikes that I review, 10 to $15,000. Well, how about reviewing some more affordable road bikes? So that my friends is a very affordable road bike and a review and a whole bunch of things will be coming on the channel shortly in regarding to the giant TCR. Look, the reason why I purchased that 
is because I want to do some road races and the Chapter 2, it's a great looking bike, it's great for cruising around here, awesome for crits, same as the LA Sprint, but in terms of road races, as an all round race bike, they don't tick a few boxes and the Giant TCR by all accounts certainly does. Now, as you just heard, we think we've bought a house. Now when I say we think, we'll either find out today or maybe early next week and I debated whether I put this video up actually because I feel like we've already been on a bit of a roller coaster with this series but that is life and look I just want to say first and foremost how grateful and fortunate we are to be able to buy a house, be in a position to buy a house in a great country such as Australia but the fact of the matter is and I don't want to get too personal here but if we can buy this house we're scraping the bottom of the barrel and really that changes the financial position of where I'm at because as you all know, the original end goal of this series was to do the Masters in Adelaide. And I did my numbers uh, while the girls were away. And it's gonna cost roughly two grand to get there, flights, accommodation, car hire, and all that kind of stuff. And to be honest, that uh, just doesn't make financial sense anymore to go do that. And the fact of the matter is, I can do races up here that are gonna cost less than 5% of that, including the state champs next Sunday. So I'm gonna do the Queensland State Road Champs next Sunday and there's a big night crit up here hosted by the Australian Cycling Academy in October, which is gonna be awesome. So the series will still run. I'm still gonna race. And look, this series isn't about the destination, it's about the journey. And I'll catch you in the next video. Can I keep it real with you? Everything I try to do